Are you serious? Are you serious? Get some coffee and calm down. We have a prophecy alert. The Washington Post has just brought forth a powerful article in their opinion called the Paris Draft. Two-state solution. Best for Israel, Palestinians. That's the headline. Folks, you have to have a Bible. You'll need this one verse. Listen to this. In Genesis chapter 25, verse 23, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. The one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. This, of course, was in reference to Jacob and Esau, and now what you're looking at, it, this nation of Israel and a nation called Palestine. Now, Israel, uh, of course, I mean, I was in Jerusalem. I've been to Israel many times. I said, I've interviewed Yehuda Glick uh, uh, many times. And I can tell you that Yehuda Glick, uh, who's now a member of the Knesset and a very staunch supporter of uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, I'm in his office. Now, Rabbi Yehuda Glick, member of the Knesset, and also the leading rabbi to rebuild the third temple on the Temple Mount, who also suffered four bullets from a Palestinian assassin that tried to take his life. I've even stood in, he's with him in the very area where he was shot and I explained how close he was to dying. I say to him, they are drafting a resolution. 20 nations are going to take it to the UN Security Council to forcibly divide the land. He slammed the desk and said, I don't want to hear it. It's over. There will, I don't want to hear about a two-state solution. It's over. I said, but they're drafting it. They're going there. And, of course, that's exactly what they did. They took it to the UN Security Council, and Obama, for the first time in America, stepped back and did not veto a anti-Jewish resolution and by a vote of 14 to nothing, the UN Security Council passed this resolution. And now 70 nations have gathered in Paris, France to carve up the nation of Israel, to divide the land, to, which is what Habakkuk said. You don't want to touch the apple of God's eye. They're about ready to do it. And they're going to do it five days before uh, President-elect Donald Trump becomes the 45th president of the United States. The article says in a strong message to Israel and the incoming Trump administration, dozens of countries, 70, are expected this weekend to reiterate their opposition to Israeli settlements and call for an establishment of Palestinian state as the only way to ensure peace in the region. France is hosting more than 70 nations on Sunday at a Mideast peace summit in what we will be a final chance for the Obama administration to lay out its positions for the region. According to the draft statement ob obtained by the Associated Press today, the conference will urge Israel and Palestinians to officially reinstate their commitment to a two-state solution. It also will affirm that the international community will not recognize changes to the Israel pre-1967 lines without agreement by both sides. Well, we'll see about that. The draft says that the participants will affirm that a negotiated solution with two states, Israel and Palestine, living side by side in peace and security is the only way to achieve enduring peace. Well, the Bible says when they say peace and safety, then cometh sudden destruction not enduring peace. And of course, you know, the Bible talks about that covenant with many. Uh, it's in uh, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. So we are witnessing biblical prophecy right before our very eyes. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are running, folks. We are literally running out of time. God bless.